Okay, let's build upon where we just left off with the Boolean expressions. So now let's talk about relational operators and Boolean operators. So what do we mean when we say operator? Let's go ahead and just add a new section here and we'll just say relational and Boolean operators. If you want, you can go ahead and just put a new line here. So remember we specified new line and a function and let's say greater than, let's define a variable called greater than and let's just make that equal to seven is greater than five. Okay, so we're using a uh, operator here with the greater than symbol, right? And we're also using a Boolean expression because when we say seven is greater than five, well, that's going to come back with true. And we could say less than, we could say five is less than seven, and that's also going to return true. What about greater than or equal to? We can say seven is greater than or equal to seven, and that's going to return true as well. And then if you can think of less than or equal to, it's going to be very similar. We say seven less than or equal to seven, and that's also going to be true. So if we were to print all these out, which we don't have to, they're all going to return back true. So there's other things that we can add in here. So what if we bring in multiple operators? For example, we could say test, and you can call this whatever you want. So what if we say seven is greater than five and five is less than seven. So we see here that this is true and this is true. That would make this entire statement true. So we could say true here. If we were to say, let's just call this test and two, we were to say seven is greater than five, which is true, and five is greater than seven. Well, that's not true. So this whole statement is going to be false because we're going to say and. And is very important here, right? What if we were to say something like or though? If we were to say, let's test out or, we could say, seven is greater than five or five is less than seven. Well, this is going to return true. And if we were to do the same thing as we did above, where we say test or two, and we say seven is greater than five or five is greater than seven. I forgot my parentheses here. And this is also going to return true. Why? Because only one statement has to be true here for these both to be true. In the instance of and, both statements here have to be true in order for it to be true. If one of them becomes false, the whole thing becomes false. In the sense of or, or the case of or, if both are true, it's true. If one or the other is true, then it's true. Both have to be false for it to actually return false, okay? So you can print these out as well to test this out. The other thing that we can say is we could say something like test not. We can say something like not true. And guess what not true is gonna be? False. And if we said not false, then that'll be true. So these are the ones that can start to kind of get confusing so again, my recommendation is to make good notes on this and then go out and uh, study it. And there are true false charts. Let's just see if we can Google one quickly. There are true false charts online. We could say true false chart Python and go to images and we can see truth tables is what they're called. So if A is true and B is true, the A and B are true. If A is false or true and B is false, then they're both false. 
false true is false, and false false is false. So in order to have a truth table for and, everything has to be true. So if we search truth tables, that might give us a better chart here. And then you get something sort of like this, where you have and, where you see true, true is true. You have or, where true, false is still true. And then XOR, we don't have to worry about right now. So take good notes on these. Make sure you understand them. We're going to continue to build upon them over time. Really, all you have to think about, though, is you have to think about Boolean operators and these expressions. And the most important things to take away from this are not just the true and false, but the greater than symbols, the less than symbols, all these different types of operators that we can utilize here. And that we can also utilize things such as and, or, and not as well. So we're just adding more tools to our toolkit and more things to think about. Where Python is important when it comes to pen testing is not necessarily being able to develop. And I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Being able to read and understand what is going on is super important. Being a developer, not as important. So as long as you see these things and you see a true, or you see a statement like this when you're reading code and you say, hey, I know that's a Boolean operator. I know it's true or false. and I kind of understand the truth tables, right? So that's really what we're after here. So as long as you start getting this understanding and this comprehension, that's really what we're after. So from here, we're going to move on and we're going to go into conditional statements. And that is where we get into something called if then else. And we'll have a little bit of fun with those. So I will catch you over in the next video.